Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's Sierra, and we are about to watch Outlander, season four, episode eight, entitled Wilmington. I love you. Will you marry me? I'm not ready for this. Please don't try to follow me, Roger. Outlander. Wilmington. Lovely theater. establishment offend you in some way, sir? No. I'm looking for this lady. She recently arrived on the Philip Alonso. I, I haven't either. You completed your inventory. Sir, have you seen this lady? I'm sorry, I haven't. Vegas. Where's the Ben? Go see for yourself. Lady, my lord, I'm so glad you could come for a visit. Oh, my God. Is he up with you? Uh, he'll be along they tomorrow. are He's all to in the to same spot. Uh, the governor has invited us to join him and his wife at the theater. So how are you all coping? You and Fergus with the baby? She Being a mother, it. it's how we bear. And my heart is so full of love, it's fit to burst. <laughs> Where's your mom being so precious? I'd have a knife through my gut before seeing him hurt or in sorrow, if anything should ever happen to him. <laughs> That's the hardest thing about being a parent. It's beautiful. Do you know where I might be able to buy passage to Cross Creek? I'd like to leave tomorrow. Diana. It's you. <laughs> oh, thank God. What are you doing here? Looking for you. You are supposed to come here. I didn't know where we stood after the last time we talked. What do you mean you didn't know where we stood? Let's go outside. You read my letter. Yeah, of course. And that's all I got a letter. I wanted to call you. He's been I ready. Know, it's I you. Day, I want you. It was but you that was thinking and now not thinking. Not in case. That seemed to be very important to you. You said. I feel like I have all of you or none at all. Have you changed your mind? No. Well then. You have all of me. You'll marry me. Do you know what hand fasting is? It's sort of a temporary marriage. That a man and a woman in this time can be promised to one another for a year and a day. At the end of that time... Let's do it. Where are y'all gonna get it popping at, honestly? Like, you're in a barn right now. I feel like I just saw a red lit up button on that wagon. I might be tripping. But... Very pleased you could join us, Mr. and Mrs. Fraser. Mr. Fanning, may I present Mr. James Fraser? Mr. Fanning sits on the assembly and is my public register of deeds. He's also, I might add, leader of the Orange County Militia and judge of the Superior Court in Salisbury in your county. There are grievances in the Western counties. Uh, regulators. Regulators. Are you in pain, Mr. Fanning? And I injured myself standing against the mob which assembled in Hillsborough last May. As I turned to leave, my boot stayed in the mud and I must have wounded myself. You know, my wife is a healer, Mr. Fanning. If the pain gets worse, you may need to see a surgeon. Allow me to introduce you to some of my acquaintances. My wife will present Mistress Fraser to the wives. Please. Oh. Jamie this and Claire's body language, world. just the yes. way that they read each other. Indeed. They just have so much chemistry, like the two But say not, I'll help you navigate these waters. My husband seems to have captured the attention of the crowd as well. That's Colonel Washington. I'm sorry, who? Colonel George Washington. He's a former soldier with the Virginia Regiment. Well, I should love to meet them both. 
Mr. and Mrs. Mr. Fraser, were you with us against the French? No, but I've heard tales of your husband's exploits in those wars. I fought at Culloden, 46. Well, I do not recall that battle. I spent my youth in Virginia. Chopping down cherry trees is what a, a young boy would do. George Washington, he would be perhaps the most famous American to ever live. He's the man who wins the war against the British. And he'll be the first leader of this country. If Brianna were here, she'd have a hundred questions to ask him. She's hooking up with Roger, which I'm not I'm happy about. To kneel. Don't like this dude. <laughs> She's just overwhelmed and looking for a familiar face, yo. I'm so mad. With my body, I be worshipped. That's all he and wants health, anyway. In richness and in poverty. Again, y'all know that I've been watching this quite spaced apart, these episodes, but all I can think about is the episode when they were at the Scottish Festival and the way that he treated her. And I mean, they've been talking about it in this episode, but he literally wanted to put a ring on it so he could hit it. And I don't think that he respects her. I can't wait for Jamie to meet him and see how he treats her and put him in line. Hopefully being around Jamie will teach him no, still how to be a man. man. Let's hope my men put on a good show tonight. All the world's a stage. All men and women, merely players. Okay, you Shakespeare, know Shakespeare. You know, never goes out of fashion. <laughs> Never. But it's not Shakespeare we've seen tonight, Your Excellency. What is this to do with your men? I have a spy in their camp. Ooh. They mean to rob a carriage carrying tax monies to the treasury at New Bern. My redcoats are going to arrest them. And they have a leader among them. Murder Fitzgibbons. Aye. Mm. Go to the bathroom. It's crazy that they're in some like a duck off place and they built a fire and they're about to have sex like in some random little shed joint. If I take you now, it's for always. Yes. If I take yes. you now. Please. Feel my heart. Tell me if it stops. What? <laughs> I want to make this last. I've been wondering for a while what color your hair is down here. Ambient air and weary, gracious, and ceaseless bellowings. Your ceaseless bellowings. Bordenace sounds with equal harmony and suits as well. Can he do all this? How rude are all those people talking during the performance, though? I can't. 